Hello, hello. How are you all? I hope you are all okay. I am back out on the moors. It's very wet here. So I'm having to kind of bog hop a little bit. I don't know if you can, yeah, look. It's very wet. We have had a rather a lot of rain recently. So let's make sure you're getting the pretty sky. Um, yeah, so I've come to a slightly different part of the moor today. Um, oh, goodness me. I literally can't see how to get around this bit. I'll go back over here, I think. <laughs> I think I'm going to end up with very wet feet by the end of today. Oh, go over here. I'm also, <laughs> don't want to fall over. My arm is slowly getting better from my last fall. I don't want another one. Oh, oh my goodness me. I'm going to end up um, stranded in the middle of a bog in a minute, I think. Maybe. <laughs> Literally stood in the middle of a bog. Maybe I'll bring you back in a minute and let's see what we get up to this weekend, shall we? Come on. Right, <laughs> my feet are already slightly damp. One could say they're a bit moist. <laughs> and that the car's only, I don't know if you can just see it over there somewhere. Never mind. Uh, I have dry socks with me and my down boots. So once I'm set up, all will be well with the world. And it already is, man. Honestly. The views out here, I'd forgotten how epic this parking spot is because you literally, it literally brings you right out onto the moors. It's just incredible, absolutely incredible. And you keep seeing, I keep seeing like the sun just trying, where's my hand there, to kind of come through in those little pockets of blue sky. So the weather forecast for today is pretty good. It's meant to be dry, not too windy. Tomorrow it's coming in a bit rubbish. And I mean, there are some rather dramatic clouds around. But this area of the moor hasn't been on the camping map until recently. So it's exciting to come back out here. The last time I parked here, I ended up walking right over to Hair Tour and Sharp Tour and then down to Doe Tour. It was my first ever time camping there. So it's amazing to be back because that was a while ago, mind. And I'm just coming up now to the little leet. Uh, look. Oh, goodness me. It's so peaceful up here. can't even hear the water. Gorgeous. Oh, and that's where I'm kind of heading. So this is, I want to say Natter, Natter Down. And there is Natter Tor is kind of over there somewhere, just, just over the horizon. But I'm going to head up to Gertor. I remember exploring around there before and loving it and the views up the up the Tavy Cleave, which always sounds rude, are just incredible. Man alive. It's surprising how quick you get out of practice at this hill climbing lark. It doesn't look like it's any closer. <laughs> it is taking me longer because I'm having to pick my way through the really boggy wet bits but, and it's just like literally get out the car and start going up, <laughs> which I'm not used to. Oh, it's so gorgeous though. Absolutely stunning. Look at it. I just love it when the skies are like this as well. Talk about dramatic. 
It looks so amazing, doesn't it? I wonder if we'll be treated to a sunset tonight. Oh, I do hope so. I'm so, honestly, I've got such bad butterflies. And there's no nurse today, which is amazing. And I think that's the thing, because it's only a few weeks since my last solo camp. You've just seen... It's like riding a bike, isn't it? You've seen hop back on again and it's like you never get off oh, oh man alive it's good to be alive people oh. <laughs> get in there oh. Oh, sun incredible oh. Just amazing. All right, come on. Almost there. Almost, almost. Man alive. Oh. Made it. Nice. Sheep coughing over there. <laughs> oh. Look at that sky, man. And those views back towards Cornwall. Sorry for any wind noise. And then over there is just the awesome, awesome sight of Hare Tour, Sharp Tour, and Great Links in the distance. Absolutely epic. Look at that, man. Wowzers. Oh, when my back is feeling better, I will head over there to explore, but not today. And look, let me take you over here, honestly. I'm going to show you up the Tavy Cleave. Oh, it is incredibly wet up here, so I don't know where I'm going to pitch it. But, oh, I don't know, it looks quite good down there, actually. Oh, that looks like a perfect little spot down there, look. Excellent, out of the wind as well, and then look at that view. Incredible. In the summer, I'm going to explore that. I'm going to walk all the way up it. Just look at those views, man. Oh, it is stunning. That's definitely going to be my camp spot down there because it's sheltered from the wind, which is coming that way. See if we can get up to the top. The top, top. Come on. It's so exciting. This is as high as I'm willing to go. Oh. Ah, look at it. Oh. I don't want to fall off. Amazing. So this is Gurtle. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go and bagsy that little spot I found and tuck myself out of the wind for some lunch. Oh, so I'm going to stop and have some lunch and just look at these incredible views for a bit. I think I have picked my pitch, which is where I showed you before. I've kind of, quite often the case, it's either slightly more sheltered, but it, it, it's a bit of a wet patch. <laughs> um, or I can go in a completely open spot and be on slightly drier ground but the wind is meant to be picking up I mean it's quite breezy enough, breezy enough now so I think um, it's all I would always personally opt for the slightly more sheltered spot um, so I'm gonna yeah duck down just in that little spot down there it's dry yeesh <laughs> Yeesh. Um, and it's certainly more sheltered from the westerly wind and then it's going to be coming from the southwest later so over that way behind the camera sorry not there <laughs> um, so it'll just give me a bit more protection up on the top there where it I mean there's a patch that is drier but it's surrounded by really boggy grass and stuff so I think this feels like the right spot for me um, you never know if there's a sunrise in the morning, it'll be rising above the Tavy Cleef, which would just be epic. Um, and then I can go and sit up on the rocks over there to watch 
watch the sunset later. God damn it, there will be one. Hopefully. Look at her. She's so beautiful. My home away from home. It's been such a long time since I've been out in Tilda the Pleasure Dome. Oh, I'm so excited for this camp, honestly. And look at those views, man. Look. Oh. Oh. Right, let's get settled in the tent and I think we crack open a beer, don't you? Oh, man. I am so <laughs> blessed with this weather. Ow, oh, there she is. Oh my God, look, man, look. Oh, the sunlight moving across there. Look at it. Wow. Epic. So totally epic. I'm literally like a kid at Christmas. Right, <laughs> I'm gonna get my stuff in the tent now because I really do want a beer, but wow. I literally feel quite emotional. <laughs> what a tit. <laughs> Why do I always end up with a bloody tear in my eye out here? Look at it. <sighs> right, come on. Oh, I can't tell you how excited I am back in my little cloud peak. I love this tent so much, honestly. This makes me so happy. It literally feels like home. It's the only way I can describe it. So I've just filmed uh, another separate little video looking at all the stuff that I've brought with me. Um, if you want to go and check that out, I'm not sure if it will come up after this or before it. Um, but I just keep getting a lot of people asking me about my kit. So I thought I would just do a little video having a look at what I've brought with me. I have, so I'm just getting set up in here. But I have brought this to try today. Exciting. Um, I will probably do a separate video looking at this as well. Um, but honestly, I'm... Uh, so I love my One Win gear, as you know. And yes, they have been sending me stuff to promote for them and to review for them. But this I did buy with my own money. They did give me a discount, bless them, because I'm working with them, which was incredible. But I have brought this. I think this looks amazing. It's the One Wind Equinox Down Quilt. So it's a top quilt. So I'm going to be able to use it in my hammock as well as camping. But this beast is massive. It's 800 fill power of down I want to say it's goose down, it might be duck down. I can't remember, I'll put it on the screen, honestly. Um, but it it just, it looks huge. So honestly, it pluffs up so nice. It's very floofy, as Claire would say. Um, but yeah, honestly, it's absolutely awesome, this thing. So I'm really hoping that this will <laughs> keep me warm at night through the winter. Fingers crossed, I will feed back on it in the morning. Um, I'll show you once it's out of the bag and it's kind of had a chance to floof up again. It packs down tiny. It was literally compresses down. The compression strap on this, on, or the compression sack, should I say, on this is amazing. It has got the four straps on it um, and it just honestly goes from this down to like, yeah, that. I should have shown you as well. I showed the other video, but not you. My new quilt. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm really excited to try this tonight. I've always been a little bit dubious about top quilts and wondered about cold spots, but let's face it, at home with your duvet, you can get cold spot and you just pull it back over you, don't you? So it's exactly the same, I think, when you're camping. I have brought my sleeping bag liner with me. 
um, my Cita Summit one that I brought before um, for my last camp, just because I thought that way, A, it's gonna help keep my top quilt cleaner. Yes, it will give me a bit of extra warmth, but it's easier to shove that in the wash than it is to try to wash a big down top quilt. Um, and I do like the idea of having a sheet on my mat as well, because my sleep mat is quite kind of rustly. Um, so I thought actually, making you wonky tea, actually to have that sleeping bag liner with me is not a bad idea so that's it so I think I am nearly nearly ready for a beer thank god <laughs> once you're all set up can't be a beer can you I tell you it's not often that I can sit here with both doors open <laughs> in February on Dartmoor it's insane I've been doing so much filming now is time to chill she says filming, I know, but this is different. This is different filming. When I'm filming like a, a review video, it's a bit intense, but like this is just, look at it. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, it's amazing. So I've just put, come in the tent. I've just set up my bed. So this is my new one wind quilt that is ploofing up as we speak. You wait until you see it later, man. It, it goes massive. I'm so excited to sleep with this tonight. Um, I need to put some dry socks on. Actually, my feet are wet. So I'm gonna put some dry socks on. Um, I'm then going to find somewhere outside to sit and hang my little socks up there to dry. Um, put some dry socks on and have a beer. Just you see if I don't. This is why I bring so many clothes with me, see? because my socks are really sodden. Got my leg warmers for later. But you forgot about those, didn't you? <laughs> Put my <the> sockies on. <laughs> feet were just starting to feel cold and I worked out it's because my feet were wet. I might have to put um, nappy sacks over my feet. <laughs> it was only that first section, so, so boggy. Right, let's go find a little spot outside and let's have a beer, shall we? I know I need one. I'm sure you do after watching me. <laughs> it's just beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I just ducked down a little bit more out of the wind she says although my hair's still driving me crazy so i've only bought two beers with me today obviously carrying my pack but they are two beasts to be fair so i'm going to start with a heathen a 7.2 oh heathen from northern monk i don't think i've tried this one before i know they sell it everywhere but i don't think i've tried this one so i'm looking forward to trying that one one for the late nights and hazy mornings well, I think it definitely will be hazy tomorrow morning. Meant to be quite grim tomorrow morning, I think. And then this is one I haven't tried as well. So it's two new ones for me. And it is a double tonka frappe from Vocation. Oh my word, a tonka latte stout. I'm guessing kind of chocolatey coffee stout. A mean man alive and it's absent. So yes, looking forward to that. The addition of tonka beans, apparently. Yeah, rich, full-bodied stout infused with tonka beans, added complex sweetness and depth of flavour, notes of coffee, vanilla, caramel and chocolate. I mean, man alive. So yes, I'm going to start with the heathen, finish with my double tonka frappe. Oh, and I obviously have my little hip flask of rum. I've got some hot chocolate and stuff for later as well. So uh, probably have a little cheeky hot chocolate with some rum in it later on to warm me up. It's going to be cold. Temperature has already dropped and obviously the sun is getting low in the sky now. Not sure what time it is. Ooh, 25 to 5, so yeah, not long to go till sunset. I'm so excited to be out here. I just, I keep like staring around at the views like in disbelief almost that it is so beautiful honestly let me flip you how is that for a pitch oh 
it looks lovely as well over there. I wouldn't mind camping over there at some point. That looks amazing. It just looks so Jurassic, doesn't it? We just need to keep an eye on that, don't we? But yeah, I don't know if any of you watch Sai Rialabran. I'm sure you do. His channel is amazing. And he's so knowledgeable about Dartmoor as well. But this is one of his favourite places. Um, and I can completely see why. And I just, I can't wait to explore it in the summer. And to camp down there in the valley somewhere and have a swim. Oh, it's just going to be amazing quite hard going walking up there I think but um come the summer I'm, I'm getting fit this year I've already started working out and stuff I've got lots of things that I need to I need to be fit for so uh yeah explore that Jurassic Valley at some point in the summer right let's get this beer open shall we ah cheers everybody oh it smells good <laughs> oh that smells punchy Right, oh, juicy, tropical and hazy. There we go. That's literally what it smells like. Oh my God, you can taste it strong though. <laughs> oh, that is nice. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. Thank you all of you for coming with me on these camps and making it so, so special for me. <sighs> oh, little gurgle then. I don't know if you heard that. So special. <laughs> that over there is great. No, yeah, great miss. Confusing myself. Great miss. And then that leads me to believe that potentially over here, this one it must be Rue's tour I think I might be wrong I probably am but I think either that's Rue's tour or it's Cox tour and Rue's is just over the other side I'm a little bit off with my bearings but that's definitely great miss over there I'd imagine it'll be heaving up there tonight but the forecast for tomorrow looks shocking so maybe not I'm gonna enjoy this all to myself look at it how beautiful is that? Sorry for the slightly random lighting, but um, I'm having an issue with my stove creating steam, which will then obviously lead to condensation. So I've had to open my door, but with the door being open, the moths are bloody coming in. So I'm going to be very brief. I have heated up my dinner, my meatballs and pasta, which I've just put into my down pouch to stay warm. And I'm now heating up my spotted dick. <gasps> yes, yes, I am. Agent Fanny here. Ah, I was given that name by the stake detective, aka squadron leader, Agent Fanny out here behind enemy lines in the dark with the red light. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. And I've got Aunt Fanny's spotted dick with me. Yes, I have a moist and rich sponge, sweet and tasty for her pleasure. Who doesn't need a bit of dick behind enemy lines, eh? That's what I say. Yes, yes. So I'm going to enjoy my dinner and then I shall bring you back when I can zip up the tent and I will share my spotted dick with you. Yes, I will. Agent Fanny over and out. <laughs> you see how many fly things I've got in here with me. Right, I am going to have the first taste of my Fanny's Blitz Spotted Dick Pudding from the lovely Steve, squadron leader. <laughs> Agent Fanny here. <laughs> Love it. I've just had my meatballs, which were flipping lovely, but I was kind of trying to combat not letting all the um, bugs and moths and things in. Look at this. Oh, oh yeah, baby. 
I'm so excited. Who gets pudding on camp? Oh my God, it smells so good. Mm. Oh my God, that's amazing. I'm guessing what I should have done is brought a bowl. I have brought some custard, which I've warmed through a little bit. So basically you put this in water, like you do with his meals, you put it in water to warm it through. And I'm guessing we should turn it upside down, tip it out onto a plate, really. But look, it's got all the sauce in the bottom, syrupy stuff. Oh my God, it's so good. That is so good. Steve, it's incredible. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Honestly, so good. Have a bit of custard with it, shall we? I think, yeah. I'll know for next time. Make sure I bring a bowl. Then I can... Yeah, my custard's not very warm. But I'm flipping off cold custard anyway, but... I reckon... Take a bowl next time. Then I can have... Tip my pudding out onto a bowl. Drizzle. Uh, warm custard over it. Oh my God, look at it, focusing, man alive. What I love about Steve's meals is that the meals, they're just like, they're seasoned to perfection for me, for my taste. Like most meals, I need to add a bit of salt or a bit of pepper or whatever, but his meals are seasoned perfectly. And like this, I was worried would be too sweet. It's like just right. Oh my God. Honestly, I'm eating like a queen on this camp. Mm. Agent Fanny approves of this dick, that's for sure. <laughs> Keep seeing little bugs and flies in there. Right, I am going to go and thoroughly enjoy the rest of my dessert and I'll bring you back later. Oh, custard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll bring you back in a bit when I'm going to have my second beer. Nobody's got this yet, so I'm going to do it again. I'm going to keep doing it until someone gets it. Surely, surely I'm not the only person who watches this guy. Surely. Ha. I'm going to keep doing it. Just you see if I don't. So I used the water that I had boiled my meal up in and my pudding up in to make a hot chocolatey mockery thing. Ooh, with a cheeky little glob of rum. Dead man's fingers, don't you know? Yes, not cracking. I think this is my new favourite. So good. Oh, and that's thanks with Lawrence to Lawrence with thanks to Lawrence. I've put my teeth in properly. LM Bushcraft, who came to my community camp and converted me to the ways of dead man's fingers and Lawrence I really hope your knee is healing well um, you'll be back on your feet in no time and I can't wait to see you again at the community camp in September so cheers lovely mm. ooh that's good warms the cockles <laughs> I can't I literally can't get over how nice that pudding was mm. there's also a sticky toffee pudding which is like one of my absolute favorites and a treacle sponge oh, oh honestly what an absolute flipping treat absolute treat i'll put the link in the description to the wonderful state detectives website steve absolute flipping genius and one of the nicest guys you could meet honestly can't wait, can't wait to see you soon when festival season starts. So exciting.
Mm. Ooh, that's good. Really good. Right, time to just chill out now for a bit, I think. Honestly, there's about 15,000 bloody moths and flies in my tent. <laughs> so if you see them zipping across the camera, that's why. Um, I'm going to open my second and last beer, or stout, should I say, double tonka frappe. I'm intrigued. A latte stout. I'm intrigued. It sounds lovely. Oh, I thought it was going to explode then. Can you imagine if it did that in my tent? <laughs> God, you'd be gutted, wouldn't you? Literally everything stinking a beer. Oh, it's a very subtle smell. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting it now. Ooh, give it a little swirl. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Oh god, yeah, that does smell really good. It smells more chocolatey than coffee, to be fair. Sorry, I keep seeing bloody flies. I'm all like, ooh, ooh. 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 That did not taste like I thought it was going to. Right, <laughs> hang on a minute. Okay, it's more coffee, a lot more coffee than some of the stouts that I've had. I know it's a frappe, I get that. <laughs> kind of got quite a bitter like you know when you eat really strong uh, not strong chocolate um high percentage cocoa or cacao chocolate kind of got that kind of aftertaste to it it's nice it's not so i was expecting it i don't know why because it's not i was expecting it to be a bit more kind of chocolate fudgy kind of flavor i've got one of those at home <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> in my head I was expecting that kind of a slightly more creamy but this is a bit more punchy somehow it is nice but it is it's definitely got that kind of um, yeah bitter chocolate tang to it I would say it's nice though but it's definitely not one that I could drink quickly which is good at 8% so I will definitely be making this last. It's very dark in colour. Look, can you see? Did you see that moth tried to go in my drink? God damn you. I'll turn the little light. It's, they're attracted to the light, aren't they? Oh, that's good. Right, I don't know if I'm going to film much more tonight. I've done loads of filming today. So this evening is quite a lot about just me chilling out. And chillaxing so to speak so I may well bring you back later I'll definitely bring you back to say goodnight um but yeah not sure how much more I'm gonna do tonight I feel like being a lazy cow <laughs> can you hear it it's raining <laughs> mm. just sitting here minding my own business and it's just started raining And I think this is it now. <laughs> Rubbish. Never mind. I can't decide if I'm enjoying this beer, peeps. It's definitely not my favourite. It's all right, but it is, yeah, quite bitter, like a coffee, I suppose, I suppose. That's the risk I run, isn't it, by taking new coffee, no, new coffees, <laughs> new beers out on camp for me. Ah, oh, the Dartmoor rain, eh? <laughs> I thought I might have a few more hours of dryness, but nope. 
not so much. Never mind. Right, get back to me chilling. <laughs> my little bobble keeps sticking on the roof of my tent. <laughs> oh Lord. So I've just been having such a lovely chilled evening. It Honestly, it's been lovely. I've been scrolling a bit. I've been doing more filming, more filming. Um, I am on my little, little hip flask having some rummage. Haven't gone crazy tonight though. Been quite sensible, been quite sensible. Um, but I think I'm going to sign off for the evening um, just so that I can just carry on relaxing. Honestly, I feel so chilled. The little gentle pitter patter of rain outside. It's just, it's like that white noise, isn't it? It's just almost like the sea. And I can hear the river at the bottom in the Tavy Cleave, the River Tavy. I can hear it. I doubt if you'll be able to, but I can pick it. It sounds like, again, it sounds like the sea in the background. So I think I'm in for a lovely sleep tonight. The wind is meant to pick up, but it's not meant to go crazy. Um, and I've got my little earplugs on anyway, or in. No, I haven't. I haven't got them in. I've got my earplugs with me is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to say good night now, guys. So I will. Good night now, guys. Honestly. I'm going to say goodnight. <laughs> so I will see you in the morning. Night! Morning! Ah. <coughs> <coughs> really? <coughs> morning! <laughs> oh, I had a really rubbish night. <laughs> I had a really rubbish night last night. My hips were so painful that I, um, yeah... I struggled to get any sleep, to be honest, because whichever side I laid on, I was just in pain. <sighs> so yes, I ended up waking up in the night and taking a, a shit ton of painkillers um, and eventually managed to get off to sleep. So I've had a bit of a lie in this morning because man alive, I, I needed some sleep. And it's grim outside, as you can probably hear. And it's been like that all night. So not heavy rain, but really like, yeah gusty um and just it's the sort of rain up here that gets you drenched in like a nanosecond so i'm not looking forward to going outside let me spin you around and i'll show you what it's like outside my my non views yeah there you go beautiful <laughs> Literally nada. Let me show you out the other door. Your hand held for a minute, so apologies if you're wobbling. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. You see the Tavy Cleave down there? It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's gorgeous, but not for packing up in, eh? Ew. <laughs> So I'm going to get the kettle on, I'm going to have some breakfast and then I'm going to pack up and get gone. So I'll bring you back in a little bit um, to say goodbye properly um, and I'll probably try to show you some of the views as I'm heading back to the car but it's going to be a bit of a grim walk. I'm really grateful I'm only about a mile from the car. Really didn't walk far yesterday um, and I'm glad because it's going to be that kind of in your face, drenched, can't see. Probably going to have to navigate my way a little bit back to the car park to be honest because when the clag comes down like this you can't see anything. But yeah, so I will get the kettle on now. So while I'm drinking this coffee, I want to wish Slab McFerret, yes, yes, a happy birthday. I hope you have an amazing birthday or have had an amazing birthday. I'm not entirely sure when it is, but yes, a little bird, Steve, told me that it's your birthday. So happy, happy birthday, lovely. Cheers to you. I'm sorry it's not a beer. If you'd got me the message sooner, I could have cheers you with a beer. <laughs> but I hope you have an amazing birthday, lovely. Oh man, is there anything better than the first cup of coffee on a camp? Hmm. I don't think there is, you know. Man alive. Right, I've just had a pack up, leave no trace. As always, it is so grim. 
I've got the uh, double double peak look going on. Um, I'm going to leave the video here, guys, because I just need to get back to the car. I'm going to be walking into this, so it's going to be blowing in my face, so it's not going to be much fun. Um, I mean, amazing views last night. Not so much this morning. But hey, I've absolutely loved this camp as per usual. And I look forward to seeing you all again on the next one. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye. Still can't see anything. I'm about halfway back now. Having to use my compass to get back today to find the car. Oh, it's grim. <laughs>